Um, and then if you have a bolster and a block, that's wonderful. If you don't, that's okay as well. We're moving into some yin positions today. And hopefully everything that we do will be helpful and healing to Galen, which um, again, who is someone that we care so much about and we're so glad that she's here with us today. And um, anyway, and to everyone as well, obviously. My house will be done today. The painting will be done today, meaning that you won't hear any noise or actually that's not true. They're going to paint this door. Um, they're painting all the doors today, but um, it should be something that will, um, gosh, I just realized they're painting all the doors. Um, anyway, hopefully they won't start painting the doors until we get done with all of this because I have to get the dog someplace else. So again, soles of your feet together, knees out wide. Starting to move down on your backs. Allowing your knees to fall open with gravity. Allowing your shoulders to fall open with gravity as well. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count. Holding to a four count. And exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale. Two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, or soreness that is there.
Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with the personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Let's all surround Galen with tons of love today so that her foot heals and that she'll be able to participate as much as she wants to going forward. We're so happy that she's here today. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Still have a little pain in my coccyx in my tailbone. <laughs> and then roll over to your right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. <laughs> Inhale as you use your arms to come up to the top of the mat. Place your tailbone, your sit bones up on top of your bolster. Flex your feet. We're moving into Dandasana. We'll be here for three minutes. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, reach forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. Place your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale down to Dandasana, sat post. Chin to shin, curl yourself in. We're going to be here for three minutes. I am going to go and make sure that my dogs are in a safe place since the painters need the doors to be open. I will be back in less than three minutes, but just to let you know. So stay there, breathing in and out. As you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. As you breathe out, breathe that resistance out, and I will be back. because they're doing the staircase first, so that's wonderful. We have a spiral staircase that leads up to the roof. Let's 
Take two more deep breaths here in Dandasana, Staff Pose. <clears throat> Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale first, keep those feet flexed. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you twist to the right, opening east and west. Drag that left elbow down on the outside of that right knee. Twisting your torso, opening it up, releasing toxins as you do. hearts as much as you can to the side wall. Let's take two more deep breaths here. Then slowly inhale back up again. Exhale. As you allow those arms to come down beside you, inhale first. Exhale as you bend that left knee, dragging that left heel in, flex your right foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. Chin to shin, and then just curl in. Again, this is half Dandasana. As you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. As you breathe out, breathe that resistance out. <clears throat>
We're here for three minutes. Make sure that you feel comfortable. Make sure that that heel is on a surface that's not hard. And we should be moving our hearts down towards our thighs through the breath. Always possible to use a block. If this is in your practice, wherever you need the block, placing your forehead on that block on whatever level you think is necessary. inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that right knee to left knee. Twisting to the back of the room, place your hands on either side of the bolster. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk your hands forward. Placing your right cheek on the block if this is in your practice. Breathing in and out. And we're in a full body twist. We're twisting our hips, our spines, our shoulders, and our necks as we do. <clears throat> Slowly inhale as we walk our hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs and shake them out. 
flex your feet. Inhale first, exhale as you bend that right knee, dragging your right heel to your sit bone. Again, switch back on that bolster if you can. <clears throat> flex your left foot. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. Chin to shin. And then just curl in. Breathing in and out. In half dandasana. Again, you can be here, you can have the block underneath the forehead if this is more comfortable at whatever level you'd like or just draw that heart down towards your thigh Hope everybody's doing well today on this beautiful Tuesday. Unfortunately, it's very cloudy here, but actually that's fortunately it makes it easy to hike. Doesn't look like there will be any rain though. on either side of your bolster. Inhale first and exhale as you walk those hands forward. Again, this time placing that left cheek on the block in a full body twist, twisting our hips, our spines, our shoulders, our necks, breathing in and out. And as we do this, we bring out our internal organs. <clears throat> We're releasing toxins, but we have to remember to breathe.
Let's take two more deep breaths here in this twist. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Coming back to a seated position, facing the front of the room. Grab onto your knees. We're going to be doing kundalini circles, opening up our spines as we do in six different directions. Starting with our crown chakras just above our root chakras. Start to rotate in a clockwise direction around that root chakra. Holding on to your knees, maybe close your eyes. We're moving in larger and larger circles, but don't go back too far. You can go back as far, or you can go as far forward as you'd like to. Imagine yourselves as a satellite dish. As you move forward, breathe out. As you move backward, Imagine a white light rising from your sacral to your solar plexus, first to your root, sorry, root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, crown chakra, and then shooting out from the tops of your heads. Again, these are kundalini circles. moving our spines in six different directions, waking them up as we do. And then slowly, when you finally feel as though you can almost touch your noses to the mats in front of you, start making your way back towards center. directly above your root chakra and then start rotating in the opposite direction. Small circles at first, opening up your spines as you do. And again, moving further forward than backward. Keep your neck safe. In these kundalini circles. Imagining that white light rising from your root to your sacral, your solar plexus, to your heart, to your throat, to your third eye, all the way up to your crown chakra and shooting out. Until you feel as though you can touch your nose to the mats in front of you or the floor in front of you. And then slowly start moving back towards center.
directly above your root chakra. Soft dog. Place your fingertips on the mat. Inhale that right arm up. And grab your left ear and exhale over to the right as far as you can. Keep those left fingertips on the mat. Open up that left side of your neck and smile. It's Tuesday. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm up and over. Find that right ear. And exhale down to the left side. Open up that right side of your neck. And smile. Inhale that left arm up, exhale down, place your hands on the mat and roll up into table. And in table, our shoulders are above our wrists, our hips are above our knees, and if we look between our legs, we shouldn't see our feet. Go ahead and inhale, the cow, drag those spines down, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Cat, good job. Inhale. The cow. Open up your spines as much as possible. Exhale. Cat. And then from here, come back to a flat back. Place your toes together. Knees as wide as the mat. Inhale first. Exhale as you drag your hips back towards your heels. Stretch out your arms in front of you as far as you can. Drag your third eye down to the mat. Maybe rock back and forth. Open your intuition as you do. Again, we're here for three minutes, allowing the fascia to open, opening up our shoulders, opening up our hips, our thighs. If this is impossible, you can also place those knees directly underneath your torso in traditional balasana. So this is balasana with Baddha Konasana knees. You can do this with the traditional balasana.
Slowly inhale as you move up into table. Draw those knees in. Now we're either going to go back to down dog, but some of you might have trouble with your toes that way. So if you don't want to move into down dog, that's completely fine. Move up to Malasana, Yogi Squat. But for those of you who are with me, exhale back to down dog, walking the dog. Flattening out your backs, lifting your tailbones, maybe walking the dog. Inhale that right leg all the way up. Exhale as you swing it forward to the top left of your mat. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back again to Royal Pigeon. And exhale down. Now, if you're in Malasana, Inhale, halfway up to Arda. <clears throat> and then take a giant step back with that left foot. Walk that right foot all the way across. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Same thing. Walk those hands back. Coming up into Royal Pigeon, and then slowly walk them forward. Again, we're here for just a little bit longer today because we are in a yin position, allowing that right hip to open as much as possible. Breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming off on that right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find that right hip crease. Maybe take a bind if this is in your practice. Wherever you are is perfect. Mariandrasana twist. Releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. But you have to remember to breathe. Inhale back to center, stretch out your legs, <laughs> shake them out, and then come up to the tops of your mats in Malasana. Now in Malasana, <clears throat> we're going to place our hands on the mat, inhale halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with your right foot this time and walk that left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Exhale as you walk them forward. Coming down onto that right cheek. 
in a full body twist. In resting pigeon. <clears throat> Breathing in and out. Again, this should feel really good, opening up that left hip, releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing there. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Coming off on that left hip, swing that right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in and that left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find that right hip crease and breathe. Again, Breathing into the Mariandrasana twist. Maybe taking a bind if this is in your practice. Releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Inhale back to center. And then from here, stretch out your legs and shake them out. Make sure that you have a block handy. Tailbone is still hurting. <laughs> Hopefully that'll go away soon. Arms are out on either side of your knees. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebrae by vertebrae down to the mat. And when you get there, draw the knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth. Take your block in hand, place your heels just below your sit bone. Inhale as you push those hips up. Place your block underneath your sacrum on the highest second or third levels breathing in and out again opening up that lower back region maybe you feel like walking your feet out possibly drawing your arms overhead do so now. That's a deeper stretch. Wherever you are is perfect. This actually feels really good because I've been hiking a lot lately. Ooh, so nice to open up that lower back. Draw your arms back overhead. Walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up, but place that block on the lowest level. As you exhale, inhale those legs straight up above you. In a supported leg straight up, allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs, back down to your brain as you do. Breathing in and out. Mm -hmm. 
slowly exhale as you bend those knees, placing them on the mat. Inhale, the feet on the mat. Inhale up and release your block. Exhale down, draw those knees in for a hug. Cross that right leg over left. Wrap your feet, arms out east and west. Inhale first. Exhale as you allow those knees to fall down to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale back to center. Unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Then cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet, arms are out east and west. Inhale first, exhale down to the right. Look over your left shoulder. And breathe. back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Inhale through your nose or side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torso, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your shoulders, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead. Extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling yourselves with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower back to your knees. Slowly roll to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. And using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room, legs are crossed. Hands are at Anjali Mudra. Heads are bowed in honor of our practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you on Wednesday. Namaste.
So. It was great to see you. I will see you tomorrow and maybe on Thursday at the library and have a 